More than 20 bullet holes could be seen in the side windows and front door. As far as we know, the shooter or shooters are still on the loose. And the heartbreak for young Demaya is far reaching. She was a cheerleader for the West Side Panthers. Her teammates will remember her as a competitive free spirit. Local 12's Paige Barnes talked with her coaches about what she meant to them and the rest of the team. Paige. The coaches held practice like normal. Now they could have canceled it, but they wanted to be strong for the other girls. One of them says Demaya was a real cheerleader because she was full of spirit and set an example for her team. The sidelines won't be the same for the West Side Panthers, who are one squad member down. Demaya Barton Pickens was more than a teammate for her coaches and cheer friends. These kids are our babies. We don't look at them as strangers, no matter what their ethnicity background is or anything. We, it's, you know, we treat these kids like our own. So this is really super hard watching girls, you know, get coached and then just getting taken away. Some of her teammates know what happened, while others just know that there's an empty space in the lineup. Her cheermates say Demaya was a dancing diva, and even when she showed up a little late to practice, she was always ready to cheer. She is a very happy child. Like, her energy lights up the room. Paris Morgan, a coach who worked directly with the little girl last season, can't believe she was taken so quickly. Just yesterday, some of the girls were filming TikToks together. As you can see with the rest of the Panthers team, their spirit, this team is one of a kind. So I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm honored to have been her coach. The Panthers coaches are grateful to be able to provide a safe space for the kids and they hold them close even after practice ends. This is a tough one for us. It really is, you know, just to be an innocent person in your home and to just have something like this happen, it's, it, it hurts. It hurts. She says it's an unexplainable pain left in all of their hearts. We got to keep moving for the kids, for the community, for their families, for her family. The Panthers are hosting a balloon release for the community at Ryan Sports Complex in Westwood. It'll be this Thursday at 6 p.m. One of the organizing coaches says they'll be celebrating Demaya's life and loss. You're asked to bring a blue, black, or white balloon for spirit colors. Paula? Thank you, Paige. This drive-by shooting is really adding on to a pattern of similar shootings in the tri-state. We reported on an 18-year-old killed at Government Square and most recently a pregnant woman shot in Witten Hills. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.